This is Channel 7 News coverage of the ice storm of 1998. Even though it's only nine days into the new year, 1998 will be one written down in history books. Governor Angus King declared a state of emergency yesterday, and the ice storm devastated streets, cars, and power lines. More than 500,000 homes and businesses in Maine are still without power, and many have no choice but to cope with the situation. I'm not at work today, uh, and we are without heat, so we're needing to bundle up and uh, make do. Um, we set up, since we're all electric, we had to set up uh, a little a camp stove uh, in a ventilated area so that we could uh, have some hot food, but we're doing okay. Bangor Hydro has been working around the clock to put power back in homes. 18 crews from Massachusetts have joined in on the effort to clean up one of the worst storms in years. I believe uh, on this street in particular that this storm is worse th than the 62-63. I would think this is the worst that we have had and I have seen in my lifetime and I've been a Bangor Borough resident all my life. This street in Bangor is only one of the hundreds devastated by the icy storm. But luckily, the Places Street residents were not hurt by falling wires or branches. We really are very, very fortunate here on the street. Um, most of us, if, as you look, you will see there's branches everywhere. You hear them falling at all hours of the day or the night. But nobody's been hurt. Even as Mother Nature wreaks havoc in Maine with ice and sleet, the Bangor International Airport is open for business. With their army of plows, snowblowers, and de-icers, these troops are ready to do battle. Paul Tozier is the general on this battlefield. Well, it's been, uh, it's been hectic. It's, uh, we've had a lot of hail. We've had about four inches of hail. And then now it's turned over to rain. And, uh, but we're gaining on it now. We're gaining on it. We haven't closed down. Travelers coming through Bangor rarely have their flights canceled due to weather conditions. That's because the crews here are prepared for anything. We have a seasoned team on the runway doing uh, snow removal and de-icing, and uh, these guys are very good, and uh, they have uh, served us well in the past and continue to do so, so I'm very grateful. Clearing BIA's runway is no small task. It's one of the longest on the East Coast. It's more than two football fields wide and two miles long. But nothing can stop these hardy souls from getting the job done. It's a nasty mix. This is the worst kind there is. We could handle two to three. We could handle two feet of snow easier than we can handle this stuff here. But uh, like I say, uh, we've got it well under control now, and uh, I think we're going to make it. So as the ice and freezing rain continue to make the weather outside frightful, Mother Nature is expected to continue to play her winter games. Kind of makes you long for those lazy, hazy days of summer. In Bangor, Greg McQuaid, Channel 7 News.